I swear to God, the only thing that gets me through life is a matcha latte. I love it so much. Hi, beautiful. Today, we're watching people chop the sh** out of their hair. They're gonna go from super long to super short. And I can't wait to see how it looks. Ooh! So let's check it out. Up first, we have a video by Mia Maples. We are starting off the year with a very questionable decision. <laughs> Her hair is so long, so thick, and so beautiful. Sad to see it go, but excited for a different style because her hair is beautiful, but I feel like it's almost weighing her down a little bit. Like, it's just a lot of hair. It's like a big blanket over her head. I want her face to be exposed and shown to the world, you know? I do want to go like as short as I can. I literally want to cut it there. <laughs> You're gonna cut to there? Like chin length above chin? Woo! 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 What? Damn, that's a lot of inches cut. <laughs> oh my god, I was in such a sh mood today. And then I came and watched this video, and I, all of a sudden, I'm just happy again. <sighs> I love my job sometimes. Sometimes it gives me a mental breakdown, but sometimes I love it. So from the top of my head, my hair is, I don't even know, let's see. 26 inches of hair. Goals! I'm gonna get rid of 15 inches. 15 inches, what? Oh my gosh, I'm so afraid. Like if you guys comment and you're like, why did she do this? It's literally going to send me on a spiral. Please don't do that. Even if you're thinking it, don't. I'm not in like a good mental space. You can't do that to me. Just kidding. <laughs> we have to section my hair. This isn't a tutorial, oh gosh. So here's where we're at. I'm getting very scared because I look bad right now. It looks as if she might have followed my tutorial. Obviously there's a million tutorials out there on how to do this, but she did do it exactly like I said. This might look good if I can properly help you. <laughs> but she did put it into four quadrants. Great, love that. It looks nice and smooth and straightened, love that. And when she put the elastics in the back, she put them in as the hair sits and then she pulled the section forward That is why she has that little bump in the back So that's great because if you pull them forward you put an elastic in at the same length as the front section You're gonna end up with a weird like shape like that in the back. It's gonna look terrible. Oh My god, I'm so afraid Oh she went for it. Yo, what? That looks good. I want it to be like fun and playful short, not like structured short, but here we go. Well, it still needs a lot of layering and a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. You can't just leave it blunt like that. Well, you could. The only person telling you not to is me, but you know. <laughs> oh God. One little strand said no. <gasps> Every cut makes me more and more excited. <laughs> oh my God though, that is short. 2023 is my year of being chaotic. That side's not nearly as good. <laughs> Whoa. Wait a damn second. What is this? What happened there? Are we gonna skim over that? Or are we gonna talk about it? It's a little burp uneven. You know what I mean? It's a little dirt dirt. Not exactly what I was thinking for you. I was thinking more of like a whoosh. But if staircase cuts are your thing, then go for it, girl. <gasps> I am bold. Look at my little bones. I've never done something like this before in my life. Oh, it is short. It is such a crazy difference from what she had before to what she has now. Look at the screen. This is my hair. So the first thing I want to do is I want to like do a little bit of cutting on the bottom just to make it like not so harsh. We gotta put in the layers, dude. Elevate the hair. We could even do like a sort of wolf cut. That is what I want you to do, but like a less extreme version of it so that you just have some layers and that will help the ends not be so chunky and so blunt, you know? Point cutting, yeah, that's definitely an option here, but it's just gonna be a lot to point cut all that, and it's just not gonna give you the right effect. It's not gonna give you like a layered effect. It's gonna give you just a thinned out 
effect on the ends of your hair. Because right now it's very, very harsh, so I'm just gonna go in like this. This side needs help. And when you guys point cut, you gotta go deeper with it. You know, we can't just do the, you can do the ends, I guess. You can just go la, 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 around the ends of the hair, but you gotta go deep with it. Go, 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 go deep with it. And also, if you want the point cut to be a little more noticeable, you can just tilt the shears this way and point cut into it. That way it takes out little triangle pieces. You know what I mean? Instead of just little single pieces at a time. Okay, so I had to wet it because we're gonna do some face framing and we just go like this and then we go like that and then we're happy and then we have beautiful hair and then everybody loves our haircut. And that's kind of how it played out in my head. Wait, wait, this all happened so quick. We were doing everything that I hoped she was gonna do. All the face framing and everything. Okay, second, she really just cut that quickly. Good form with that one. Hey, this makes me so happy. She's doing such a good job and she's doing everything that I wanted her to do. Hey, hairdressers, look away. Cause you're not gonna like what I'm doing here. Oh, I can't see, it's so short. I can't even see my hair. I was literally just thinking, what the f is going on? Because it was going so good and now it's going so random. And I don't know where we went with this. What's what are we grabbing? What section are you grabbing right now? What is that? And then cut. I don't know where you're going with this. I'm loving how much like body it has. I've never had this much volume. It's giving body. But it's so puffy at the bottom. But okay, I'm gonna do a little wolf cut moment. Yes! 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 I'm not sure that's a wolf cut, but I, I'm, I'll take it. Here it is. Oh my gosh. There is so much body in my hair right now. I have always wanted volume in my hair and because it was so long and heavy, I could never get it. It's also so cute. You can like pin back little pieces of hair. Oh my God, this is like an 80s haircut sleigh. Like with the styling, it's giving 80s gorgeous, 70s even. Just so bodyful and voluminous. She actually did a good job on the cut. I'm interested to see the back, but from the front, it looks like a fucking sleigh. <laughs> I feel like I'm like re-excited about my hair to like style it, figure out what works, and just loving the change. And who knows? I encourage you guys, if there's something you want to try out with your hair, I hate to even say it, but YOLO. Oh! You did such a good job there. I want to so badly see you with like some Marilyn Monroe style curls, like going forward towards your face and having kind of like an S pattern wave in the front. I just think you would rock it. And this is great. You just look so much different. Like you looked great before too, but you look a little bit more like, woo, in the end. You know what I mean? More like, ah, I'm living my life. Boop, 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 boop. Up next, we have a video by Gold Buzz Cut. I will be cutting my hair to this length and I'm gonna just shave it off my hair. <laughs> Hold on. Your hair is also stunning. You're gonna cut all those curls off, boop, up to here, and then you said you're gonna shave it. I can't wait. Hello, everyone. Goodbye, my hair. Okay, girl. I was really like, whoa, and then it took you 10 years to cut five strands. Cut through it. Just cut it off. Chop it off. One little cut is all you need. Oh my god, whoa. That is short. Oh yeah, she said she's gonna buzz it. Okay. All right, because I was gonna say that's a cut. Hair no more. I would have donated all my hair, but I have died, so. I'm totally feeling this already. You can actually donate colored hair now. You used to only be able to donate virgin hair, but that is no longer the case. I gotta be honest, I have never seen anybody hold scissors like that. I don't know if you noticed, but her fingers are not in the actual scissors. They're actually just on the outside of them, which is an interesting way to do it. It doesn't seem like the most effective, but I don't know, I'm baffled. Yes, leave it like that. That mullet is giving, it is eating. This is business in the front, party in the back vibes. This is so primary school. This is so fun. All right, I'm keeping my fringe like this, guys. Yes, the emo cut. I would have loved you in high school. 
All right, we need hair cutting scissors because these are just not cutting it. Literally, these are not cutting it. Wow, I'm so funny. Oh, we missed the spot. Basically, I'm making this up. Basically, I'm making a cloud on myself. Oh, there's already a lot. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of cleaning after this. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of cleaning after this. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of cleaning after this. to the hairdressers and then there's always like like extra like wigs heads with like wigs and then the hairstyles and you just kind of like play with them and this ladies and gentlemen is all my hair that is so much hair. I didn't realize she had that much hair. Like when she held it up, that is a major amount of hair she cut off. That's incredible. <laughs> is this her boyfriend helping out? I love when you get the significant others involved in a cut. It is just so much fun and empowering. Whenever I have a boyfriend, you know I teach them how to cut hair. You know I do, every time. And they get good at it. I sound like I'm running through boyfriends. Like I literally, no, it's not, no. The, the couple that I've had. <laughs> they do good. Oh well, it's gonna grow back. If you're not happy with it, it's gonna grow back. We are taking inches off. Well, she took off like 13 inches and now she's taking off the rest so then they can shave it. Honestly, the hair is good to be shaving right now, but I guess we can do the extra step. Something's happening, but I'm not quite sure what it is yet or if I, I like it at all. Like I need to see a little bit more to understand what, what the vision is. It feels so strange. But it feels so nice. Yeah, it is nice. Right? I'm feeling it. I might not be looking it, but I'm feeling it. Wait, those little bangs in the front that she left are kind of iconic. Imagine if she colored the whole back of her head black and then she colored the bangs like blonde. I don't know, it'd be kind of a fun look. I'm just kidding. Okay, we have the clippers out now. Let's shave it. She is scalping herself. This is the finished look. I actually really like this style. As I shave my head, it feels kind of natural for some reason. It's like I was supposed to do it or I had done it before. I think I want to grow it out just a little bit more so you can just see where my hairline is. So far, I really like it and I feel like I'm just gonna rock this hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It is so completely different than what she started with. Like, look at this. Like, what? That was what she looked like before. This is so punk rock and like cool. I want to see with like a glam smoky eye moment. Like, I don't know. Makeup with a bald head just makes me so happy. Is that just me? Like, I don't know. They just balance each other out. So she looks incredible. And I honestly love that you brought it to the scalp. Like, I think it just looks so much more badass that way. When it grows out a little bit, maybe like do a color or something, you know, like bleach it, do a little pink, a little blue, a little turquoise. I don't know, something of that nature. It'd be kind of sickening on you. And by kind of, I mean very sickening. Up next, we have a video by Simone Danielle. I just want to be bald, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> I just want to be bald. <laughs> I love that. Yes, I'm doing my second big chop. I know I said I never cut my hair off again, but that was a different mindset. Oh, her curls look so so fluffy and full of life. Tiny bit sad to see them go, but excited for her at the same time. There's just so much movement. I just know if I felt that hair, it would be so hydrated and soft. And the blowouts she could get, ooh, smooth, silky, soft. I don't know why every time I get surprised, but it's just like, I just know what that feels like to like cut all of your hair off. I've done it. I've had hair down to here and I shaved it. And I was like, sheesh. Oh, I kind of wish I grew my hair out. Whoa. <laughs> I was just thinking about my hair being long and I got sad because I want long hair, but I don't want it every day. Within the past week, there have been a lot of intrusive thoughts about cutting my hair off. I just remember like, first and foremost, I miss palm in my head. I like the technique she's going for. 
just kind of grabbing sections and going at it because uh, she's got curly hair. If she's gonna wear it curly, it's more about like shaping it visually, looking at yourself, kind of knowing the shape you want and going from there. Instead of like with straighter hair, you can see a lot more of those like messy longer bits and things going on and you need to kind of cut everything the same around the entire head. This is more like making a shape and a sculpture when it's with very curly hair. I miss rubbing my head, I miss feeling my scalp. I miss the wind, you know what I'm saying? Like just caressing my scalp. I give it to curly hair people. I know how much work you put into your hair. I know every day you can't just wake up and just out of the door. It's a whole thing. It's a whole routine. It's a whole moment. Every single time you want to do anything and look cute. I don't know how you do it, but whatever you're doing, it looks good. Also, I really just miss the convenience of it. Waking up, wetting my hair, putting a little product in it and going. But it's different for me this time around with I have the goal and intention to just have fun with my hair. Those are some cutting shears. They are long, they are sharp, and they are going through that hair nice and easily. Except another person holding the shears very oddly. <laughs> is this something that always happens and I never noticed it? What is that grip? I plan on going crazy with the colors, with the styles, like this sh gonna be fun bruh yes i see you with like some neon colors bright bright green something like that would look so so good on you the overall goal was to just start over and regrow my hair but this time it's different i feel like a woman deciding to cut all her hair off shouldn't be this big thing like oh my gosh where did your hair go okay so she finished the cut and apparently we're getting into some color let's do it i'm in for the ride it is box dye which is fine but also at the same time, you know, let's make sure we use it correctly. I just feel like there's this societal norm that every or all women who can grow hair, they're expected to cherish and treasure their locks and all those things. Luckily, your hair is very short now and um, the box color is going over virgin hair, which is fine. You can do that and it probably will result in a good look. So I'm for it today. But to go against that is very empowering. I'm not trying to be all dramatic with it, but that's literally how it feels like. It's it's just something about going against societal norms in general that is just so empowering and uplifting. It's like, bro, I'm unstoppable. I'm fucking invincible. Yes, I get it. Who cares? Cut your hair off. You're a guy, grow along. Do whatever makes you happy, not what makes society happy with you. Cause that's just like corny. You know? I know this was a short video, but I just wanted to get straight to the point because none of the dramatics are necessary. I already did that the first time. I'm not gonna do it the second time. Wait a damn minute, why is it still brown? Why does it look darker? I thought we were going lighter. Yes! The before was iconic, the after was iconic. Such a different look, but I love it. I am just so happy you're just living your life and just doing whatever you want with your hair, no matter what the fuck anybody thinks. Cause screw them. You got one life to live, cut your hair off, color crazy colors, make dumb decisions with your hair. Don't quote me on that one, but just do it. You know, it's just hair. It grows back and let's have some fun with it. It's not that serious. If that means you want to ruin your hair, fry it, go for it. That's up to you. You own that. And if you want to make your hair feel luxurious and look luxurious, do it. That's up to you. I like the latter, but again, it's up to you. But great job. The whole, the styling, the cut, the color looked really good. I want to see you do some fun things with the color though, really badly. Maybe next time. Well, those were some massive chops. So much happened in those videos. I loved it. I love watching you guys cut your hair off. Like, please, if any of you are thinking about cutting your hair off, make a video. I wanna see it. It makes me so happy and so excited for you. And I can just see through the screen that it's like a new beginning for you. And I don't know, there's so much power in hair and there's so much power in not having hair. Anyways, if you guys wanna check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.